Yo, what's up guys? So yeah, I'm actually sitting here editing this video right now and um, I didn't get to include this in the video But I wanted to let you guys know I plan on doing a video where I react to my subscribers dreadlocks in their videos and pictures of their dreadlocks and stuff like that So if you guys want to be included in that video um, Make sure you guys send me over your dreadlock pictures and videos to my Instagram So my Instagram is at MZ Grinnell So at MZ Grinnell, I'm gonna put that on the screen now so you guys have that But yeah, if you guys want to be included in that video If you guys have freeform dreads, regular dreads, just send me your way because um, I have videos for free Reform dreads and I'm doing videos for regular dreadlocks now so um, I'm probably gonna do two separate videos for those reactions so make sure you guys send me that but yeah guys appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoyed the video so when I started my dreadlocks I made a ton of mistakes we're gonna say that I started my actual like dreadlocks like getting my dreadlocks like retwisted and stuff like that probably three years ago. First mistake that I made when I first um, started getting my hair retwisted, um, I was not washing my hair enough. I was under the impression that if I washed my hair, it was gonna actually make my dreads like take longer to actually like lock and stay in place and stuff like that. When I first started, I wasn't too informed about like how dreadlocks work, but I'm actually informed now. So the cleaner the hair, the healthier it's gonna be when it's locking, you know, progressing and stuff like that. So um, I probably was washing my hair probably like once every two months. I would actually tell you guys to wash your hair once a month. You can definitely wash your hair too much. You do that too much, it's gonna be stripping like the nutrients and stuff your hair needs. Clean dreadlocks means it's gonna, you know, lock faster and be healthier. So I was under the impression that that was actually just gonna make my hair like not lock up officially. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought that water and dreadlocks just weren't gonna mix, but it's just, you know, it doesn't really work like that. So the second mistake that I made when I got dreadlocks was the products that I were using. So I was not moisturizing my hair enough with oils. I was moisturizing my hair, but I was not moisturizing my hair with the right stuff. I was moisturizing my hair with gels and like thick products and stuff like that. Just thick stuff that I wasn't supposed to be using, you know what I'm saying? Like dreadlocks, you don't have to use all the extra stuff. You can literally just use oils, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what it's for. So thicker the product, the more buildup. So that's not what you want with dreadlocks. So the point I'm trying to get across here is to just stick with oils, don't use any type of thick products and stuff like that. So the third mistake that I made was retwisting my locks way too much. At first I actually managed to go to the loctician about two times a month. So I feel like that's too much already because when you're going to the loctician, you're getting your hair retwisted. A lot of pulling going on, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of pull on your scalp. Might do a lot more damage than to help you, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, just all that pulling and tension. My scalp was like, hurt it you know what i'm saying like it was just too much like and the fourth mistake that i made and still make to this day is playing with my hair so much so i play with my hair a lot you guys shouldn't play with your hair it's true you guys shouldn't play with your hair um i play with my hair a lot though like it's really if if you guys play with your hair then you guys know that it's not easy to just stop playing with your hair like it's it's you know kind of it's kind of relaxing honestly to me when i end up playing with my hair like my tips they start to like thin you know what i'm saying so for example look at this one right here this, like, I've been playing with, I play with this one all the time, I just twist it, but as you can see, it's thinning. So, you know, eventually I'm gonna have to like pull that off and it's gonna come off, so just don't play with the hair, like, it's not worth it. And the last tip that I have for you guys would be to don't dye your hair too early, man. So, when I first dyed my hair, I ended up dyeing my tips and a lot of my tips, they ended up falling off. The reason my tips started coming off was because my hair was not actually like officially locked all the way. Like, I remember I had dyed my hair probably like a month or two after I got my first retwist, so this is just like a picture of what it looks like when I did that um, I noticed that you no know, of course the bleach is not good for your hair already but if it's really early you know my ends you know they weren't butted off and stuff like that like now like they're butting off and stuff you know what I'm saying as you can see like so back then it wasn't like that so when it wasn't like that it was just like they were coming off so yeah I noticed that so just don't dye your hair too early man wait till your hair is actually like locked and you know get in some progression before you just rush into dyeing it because I was just I just wanted the color but that's just me but that's just my tips for you guys hopefully you guys learned something today if you guys have resonated with anything that I said today make sure you guys leave a comment leave a like make sure you guys please subscribe to the channel it really does help the algorithm at the end of the day we're on the road to 1k so let's get there bro so I appreciate y'all and I'll see you guys next time Peace.